I have my phone stopped working and I only got it back last night from the repair store and uh, thankfully it's fixed but I was struggling between spares today we are going to do a Monday recovery it was originally going to be a Friday get unready with me and just chill but I am so tired from my Monday that it feels nice to have a pamper routine and uh, wow my hair has grown long enough for me to be able to tie at least most of it back um yeah sorry to everyone who voted friday i will try and remember i also have my dance class on fridays so sometimes i forget <laughs> that i'm supposed to come back and do this because it ends really late <sighs> cute little hairs my hair has grown so much uh, but today we will definitely still do what the title says and use snail mucin and a few other really cool products uh, oh shit I will be back yeah uh, so I wanted to do a really simple no actually not simple I don't know what's wrong with my brain today <laughs> I wanted to do a uh, kind of an elaborate routine and make it a retinol night because I feel like the brand that I'm going to talk about today, I, it has been working really well. Ooh, what are these buttons? I can start a poll. Oh, I think I did that last time. Anyway, um, so as you can see, I still have most of the stuff from my morning and day on. This is a really lovely Roman lipstick. Uh, for anyone who wants to know the shade, it's this one. The Zero Velvet Tint in Icy, number 8, Icy. It looks red here, but it's more of like a deep pink red. And it's amazing on Indian skin. It lasts also through the day. Mm, it's a very nice soft blurred tint. So if you like that moussey look, it's great. Uh, but yeah, why did I take my hair out in front? I have to wash my face. Uh, today I thought we can do some use a really cool cleanser because we just launched this brand called Wish by Wish Trend. If you've never heard of it, uh, they're really great with their products and ingredients. And I actually have to film a video, which for, which is going to take us uh, through the cleanser and another one that is like a four week trial of their Bakuchiol and Retinol Night Cream. So I'm very excited about that because it's the first one that didn't break me out or cause bulging much, I think. And definitely not intensely. It just really smoothed out my skin. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to retinol nights now. And uh, let's get started. I've been talking for really long. If you're watching this as a playback, you can skip ahead. Okay. Um... I don't know which one to use. I, so the Muji cleansing oil is what I've been using. You can see, I love that it has markings on the back, like 200, 150, 100. So I think I've used like maybe 20 ml only. And then there's the Claire's Fresh Cleansing Oil, which is like a major favorite. In fact, someone just asked me on one of my other videos if it's good for dry, sensitive, acne prone skin. The answer is yes. Um, but today I think we'll go in with the Muji one because I want to get started and you like use more of my Japanese skincare. I've just been sitting on it and I'll find out like in a year that stuff is expiring. So I don't want that. And uh, yeah, I had applied mascara in the day. I really liked one, the Benefit one. Um, the Benefit, their real magnet something. And uh, it, so that comes off really easily. And more than that, I have a lot of sunscreen on. I started using the Kose Suncut Perfect UV Gel uh, Waterproof Sunscreen. It is really nice and uh, I feel like its lightweight texture is amazing, but it does leave a residue at the end of the day. So I have to come home and make sure to double cleanse. Um, yeah, let's get the Roman. Wow, the Roman lipstick came off so easily. Ah. I have to be careful because I have stitches on the inside of my lip thanks to a little cyst so this I can't like rub hard over there it hurts 
but I can do the rest of it. There's so much pollution where I live, like the AQI is insane and there's so much construction. There's like, you can literally see the dust in the air and I can feel the dust and particles and construction material and pollution coming off or from my cheeks. Hello to everyone on a Monday night. How's your Monday going? Mine was really long. It feels like the morning, I had a morning meeting. It feels like it was three years ago. Don't I, and at lunchtime, I was like, oh yeah, you know, hey Siri, remind me on, uh, f remind me uh, to ask someone to bring something on Sunday night. And my coworkers look at me and they're like, why Sunday and why not tomorrow? I'm like, it's Friday, guys. And they're like, it, it, it's Monday. <laughs> so I have been very out of the loop. Yeah. I've been reading a lot of webtoons and I made a really nice Discord server for some people like me and some of my friends and their friends to discuss books because I was like I need a book club and I know all of us like books and have similar tastes and also a lot of cool different recommendations so I have been going through their recommendations it's really fun we have a reaction pics uh channel and it's just full of memes at this point i think people i think we all like those like the reaction picks more than a literary analysis of anything but it's been fun oh, i feel so much cleaner okay for the 81 of you watching i am going to choose between two options once uh so you actually you are going to choose for me one is the advanced snail mucin gel cleanser or we can try the Buy Wish Trend Green Tea Enzyme and Powder Wash. Quickly tell me which one you want while I wash my first cleanse off. Ah, oh, it feels so good to get all of this junk off my face. Yeah. Come on, tell me in the comments which one should I go. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick my mm, cleanser based on the mood for the day. Yeah. Oh, also, if you don't like getting your arms wet, you should definitely pick these bands off uh, Amazon. They're so helpful. You'll see what I mean. Like, no water drips down. Oh, God. I forgot I switched on the diesel. And the water is so hot right now. <laughs> okay. No one picked. So, I'm going to pick. I want to use the by wish trend uh, enzyme cleanser this is one of their most popular products i should dry my hand because i don't want water going in the powder bottle it comes it's a green tea cleanser and it literally smells like matcha and it's so gentle on the skin it's insane you just need a few drops of water i might have used too much water oh no i didn't good enough haha <laughs> And it foams up really nicely, very gentle. It's going to take the residue of my cleansing oil off. Oh my god, this makes me want to have a matcha latte. Oh god, it's too hot. Just a sec. Ah. wet the cloth instead and wipe my face with that because the water is so hot right now for my shower oh. it's literally steaming this is disastrous <laughs> but yeah i forget that it does this and i always leave my gaze on for too long but because we were done with most of it it's kind of nice it's almost like a steam pack and it did take everything off so that's good yeah oh, i'm thirsty <laughs> i literally took a bottle of water and kept it here because i was like i know i'm gonna be thirsty through this make sure to hydrate <laughs> This morning, uh, this afternoon, a friend of mine sent me a reel saying, girl, you're dehydrated and I'm worried for you. And so since then, I've been walking around the house with this bottle. Mm -hmm. oh. Right. Oh, I feel so good. Can you see that? My face looks so bright and clear and it feels so smooth because enzyme cleansers basically get rid of dead skin and anything that's clogging your skin. 
So if you live in a highly polluted area and you or you have like a lot of skin texture, I I cannot explain to you how soft your skin is going to feel with this. I wish videos could capture the like the visual of how soft this is. Oh, I feel clean. And uh I have the where is it? <laughs> okay. Then we have the round lab toner. This is that do do tono i think sorry i'm from pronouncing it wrong i like using it once in a while it's not like the best like the way the claire's one is but it's really hydrating and gentle that's my lip yeah and it feels really good after a uh, cleanse so it, it makes sure that my skin is not going to feel tight or dry but it's also not thick enough that it's going to feel greasy feels so nice and cooling while it's still damp we are going to use the cult favorite snail mucin power essence uh this one as you all would have seen has a fantastic like texture and it's so nice just look at that isn't that cool wow i would i didn't think hi susan nice to see you again um yeah i love this snail mucin and i felt like using it one because my skin is in dire need of some repair but also since i'm gonna use a bakuchi oil cream i wanted to make sure that my skin has enough soothing ingredients to balance that even though the wish trend one is actually quite uh gentle in itself <sighs> it feels so good uh if you have dehydrated skin you're really gonna love the snail mucin hi elite darinda i feel like i called you by your username before <laughs> Um hi Susan how's your monday going and can you see that hydrated glow it feels so good um and we were the Laneige cream skin toner and snail mucin is a nice combo it is my skin is too oily for both but uh, i have used them in like day and night and i really loved that the cream skin toner i can only use in like peak winter <laughs> so i kind of gave up after the first bottle but it was a good one Snail Mucin is just holy grail. It has to keep coming back into my routine. Even talking to you right now, I'm very happy that it's on my skin. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried the Snail Mucin uh essence and the One Thing Centella extract because it's so good for calming your skin and it literally clears stuff up and if you put a little bit of the Hortunia Cordata in it, it will just clear out any acne. Where am I from? I'm from India. Where are you from? Yeah, okay, it's slightly dried now. I am not going to use any other actives, but we are going to do the retinol sandwich method just cuz I have uh no trust in my skin. <laughs> And I'm going to I'm really trying to ha finish this Hada Labo lotion, but I've only finished this much. and this has been with me for a few months now so i don't know how to do any faster like i probably have to use it as body lotion or something at this point to get rid of more, not get rid of but like go power through more or like use it on my elbows but yeah it's a good idea uh i'll give my mom some or my brother i'm from india oh nice hey, hello from one city to the other how old are you um you don't tell me your exact age <laughs> it's fine uh where to buy one thing so it's usually on the mas nika uh tira mintra wherever but i know that it's out of stock everywhere i think it's supposed to come back in a few weeks so you can probably find it on any main beauty website that you can shop from amazing okay so now for the bakuchio i believe we are supposed to apply it on at the cream step but it's best to apply vitamin a on dry skin so we're just going to wait for that hara labo to absorb and make sure that there's no irritation or anything else you can see a little redness but i feel like that is from not from my face but from the lotion Oh no, it is a little bit from my face. Yeah, my skin has been irritated here. So I might avoid like a teeny patch, but uh this is a very strange line. Huh. I don't know why that's happening. But I was watching this video of my skin and it is doing so much better now and I realized that stress is such a big part of it. Um 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, you said acne free and I was just talking about how I have acne. But uh, it's definitely doing better. Like it's one one or two like small marks and around, like that's hormonal more than anything. And I realized that a lot of my acne when it was really along my jawline was from stress and uh, excessive cortisol, which is a stress hormone. Um and so it literally like calmed down once I started having my vitamins, once I took a break and went on holiday and once I like mentally calmed down and took like enough time to sort my brain. So damn, the difference that not being stressed out can make is huge. And I and also a lot of exercise that really helps. So I don't know if that will help you guys. Okay, we can wait a little more. And uh Oh, let's put some lip balm till then. Oh, I have I had bought the DHC one, right? It's almost over and I feel so dumb for not buying a second one in Japan. I was like, oh, it'll last for so long. How fast can I really use a lip balm? And I'm so sad because now when I turn it out fully, it only comes up like that much. So there's very little left. And I was complaining to my mom. Oh. Anyway... I don't have any other lip balms right now except like one ancient Anpa one which is not available here any longer but I just gotta do something. Yeah. Can we face ac can we face acne scars? Would you can you tell me what do you mean by face acne scars? Do you mean like can we treat acne scars? Fade, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um you can. I did. I haven't done any like in clinic treatments for it. I just use a lot of vitamin C and sunscreen and patience. <laughs> because the vitamin C and I also used a lot of niacinamide. It really helped over time. But because I did that like all home product based, it took really long. So depending on how intense your scars are, it can take a while. And also like you can still see some of mine. So when I was younger, I didn't like the scars would fade completely. But now as I've gotten older, I noticed that like the deep ones don't go. I'm guessing that they're really deep and I would need like a doormat to help me get rid of them. So but you can see like for the most part to just a regular viewer, it, it looks like it's gone. And if I have even a BB cream, it just doesn't show. So you can use vitamin C, niacinamide, you can uh, make sure to double cleanse so that there's nothing like clogging your skin and irritating it. And a lot of sunscreen, it really, really makes a difference. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it, it looks glowy and well hydrated but it's not wet so we are going to use this this is the by wish trend vitamin a amazing bakuchiol night cream it's a night cream that contains retinol and bakuchiol which helps to revitalize and smooth out uneven skin texture apply one more layer to areas that need intensive care now uh, as someone who wants to start their well aging journey uh, as I get closer to my 30s, I am excited about this product. And Samir Singh says, I have too many acne scars. Any suggestions? Yeah, uh, like I said, like any vitamin C, I personally am a, I'm like an advanced user of vitamin C because I've used it for five years and I'm very comfortable with high percentages. So can you tell me, are you a beginner user or have you used vitamin C before? And if you have... What percentage, while I wait for you to answer that, you can also use niacinamide, um, anything that has C buckthorn water, uh, AHAs, like a mild glycolic acid over a long time will help remove the hyperpigmentation and uh, uh, sunscreen. Make sure to use sunscreen every day, like at least remember to reapply it once, if not every like super frequently i forget a lot so i apply in the morning and then like maybe once around four or some three four or something like that but it real and i apply a proper amount like not just small dots but like a nice good layer so it actually makes a difference used before consulted many doctors but nothing affects much are you using enough sunscreen like i said 
um and sometimes you know like you have to i i get it like you have to try a bunch of things before it works and honestly i don't know how long it's been but for me it took at least one whole year before my acne scars really disappeared so it's slow progress and it's really hard to wait but you have to like take your time how much of niacinamide has to be applied now that depends on how comfortable your skin is so for me initially when i started i could only do 5% niacinamide every day um in like a simple serum then i could go to 10% and then finally because my skin got used to high concentrations i started using this one the cosarex niacinamide 15% insane so good like usually niacinamide depending on who is whose brand it is it breaks me out but 15% was mind blowingly good um and you so just play with it like slowly build up even though i had used vitamin c retinol aha all of that before i took my time to slowly do it so that really is important otherwise again you'll damage your skin barrier and then you're back to step 1 any products susan matthew asks any products for hyperpigmentation around the mouth yeah so same ones anything for acne scars spots etc um is going to help with the hyperpigmentation like vitamin c uh, which is brightening uh niacinamide is brightening aha is brightening if you have a lot then i found that like a mild aha really helps like the glyco- like any glycolic acid and i am a big fan of vitamin c i think i've used like some 8 Ten bottles of vitamin C in my whole life <laughs> um, is really good, and it takes time. I think you just have and sunscreen. Like any of these ingredients plus sunscreen is amazing for your skin. Okay. Yes, I'm using sunscreen. I think it's a genetic problem. Uh, the acne scars. Uh, it could be like really deep, but. Honestly, if you've used it before, no, try the cost. You can if you want to try a higher percentage. Because for me, um, if you check on my channel, there's like uh, I had a lot of acne pits and scars and spots from my isotretinoin period, and then I used um a five percent niacinamide serum, and then I moved to the Cosarex twenty three percent vitamin C, and that literally. like re- smoothened my skin out made it look fuller and like the deep pits got less and it really faded my scars so there's one uh, youtube short on my channel which talks about where i'm talking about like how the vitamin c how i like the cosarex vitamin c and if you look at my skin in that it's so smooth and clear and that was before i had another breakout but it's so clear and i need i literally placed an order for another one today What if I stop applying serums? I think it's the same as like you know, if you stop working out, your body will remain fit for a while, but then after a point, it will start being more lethargic. More, you might uh, put on weight. You might be less fit than you were before. So the same thing. The longer you use serums or take care of your skin, it will do well. But if you have concerns that come back. then they will come back when you stop using whatever you're using okay uh suggestions for boys stop those things i think i missed a message somewhere <laughs> i have used minimalist vitamin c but it didn't work for me i didn't <laughs> i didn't like the minimalist products to be honest uh i feel like it's just water <laughs> I had the alpha arbutin and it worked for like a few like half the bottle uh and then it didn't <laughs> so I gave up on the brand <laughs> maybe try another one I have been using the Dermaco one you can see it's right here like you can see how much of that vitamin C I've used it's all the way here they just sent it to me for a, like a review in the beginning but I loved it so much I've been using it every day so that's why it's literally on my counter maybe you like that it's called The ten percent vitamin C face serum. It has five percent niacinamide. Oh, for everyone asking for pigmentation, you can start here. I they gave me a code also J A M twenty on their uh, official website. So that's a great twenty percent off. 
uh, try salicylic acid. Yeah, sa- uh, so depends. Like for me, salicylic acid was uh, really drying and it depends on how I use it. Like I can only use 0.5%. So it depends on whether your skin can handle it. You have to try a few different ingredients before you realize what works. When to apply sunscreen after cleaning up niacinamide coat or over that itself okay so first you apply your niacinamide serum give it a few seconds so that it's not like wet it's uh, slightly damp and then if you have a moisturizer you want to use you can use that otherwise apply your sunscreen you don't have to wash the niacinamide off niacinamide stays on your skin and you can apply the sunscreen in the morning before you go out and if you feel like you're going to step out again or it's been like four or five hours and you want to reapply it and you're sitting near like a window or just outside a lot, you can do that. So the only products you need to wash off are cleansers and masks and like the peel off, wash off masks. It will tell you everything else stays on your skin. Try Doma Roller to produce collagen. This really helped to remove those pits. Yeah, Doma Roller, I would say if you're not used to, like not familiar with, maybe go to a Domat and like figure out the Doma, Microdoma, uh, like the Doma Roller kind of process so that you know, because you can damage your skin also. So don't just blindly do it. But yes, it is a good, so basically like a clinic treatment. Cosrx or Claire's Vitamin C for combination skin. Both work for combination skin. I've used like five bottles of the Claire's Vitamin C. I've used like four of the Cosrx niacin, uh, Cosrx Vitamin C. So it doesn't matter. It's just that uh, with the Claire's one, you only need two, three drops max for your whole face. Like not the full dropper. One, two, three small drops. And for Cosrx, uh, I was able to use the uh, full serum. And that's it. But even that's a little thick. So I didn't apply too many layers. It's just you need to adjust the rest of your routine. My doctor suggested try clear face wash. Contains lactobionic acid and gluconolactone. But now I'm getting more acne compared to before. It's probably just something else that doesn't suit you in there. And also lactobionic acid is a PHA. PHA is is a is an exfoliating ingredient, right? So maybe using a, a, and a cleanser is a daily use product maybe you're using it twice a day so that's a lot of pha on your face you can try reducing it you can uh, try a different cleanser or just tell your doctor that it's causing more acne and ask them for a different option that's perfectly fine you are allowed to do that <laughs> rupashri you're most welcome needling really helps if we use the right diameter of needle yeah so like doma rolling helps it's just important to be informed so if you're not sure of like your knowledge or skill of it i would say go to a professional and get it done first so you're also familiar with the process like they you'll feel like the pressure you will understand like the p- movement and everything and then you can do it i just feel like a lot of things that are in like slightly invasive or harsher on your skin you should do with more caution because you can cause damage which is harder to come back from She's suggesting you to do the peeling. Do what you feel comfortable with with your doctor, obviously. Take your time, make a decision, aram say, and then do it. Okay, you guys are great to talk to, <laughs> I just want to say. Um, but let's go back to the wish trend one while you guys are responding. So this is a Bakuchiol uh, and Retinol night cream. Retinol is easily available on your skin. And also Elite Darinda, you are very well versed with skincare. Like you're super knowledgeable. That's cool. Uh, this is a really cute bottle. And it's the Babchi plant that makes it, the, gives it this color. So uh, this really nice yellow lime color. And I'm just going to use it on, like spread on all of my fingers so that I can applied across my face my forehead and my cheeks needed the most so let's take the bulk of it there it literally is like this most nourishing moisturizer ever and the excess can go on my neck yeah and it feels very hydrating so your skin does like retinol can make your skin uh, any type of vitamin A can make your skin feel really dry, but this actually doesn't. It feels so good and it's literally like adding that shine and glow. Oh, And it 
oh, it just feels like velvet. Your skin feels so good. Good luck for your 10th boards. Wish me for my week. Yeah. And let's see. It has... Mm, it has macadamia seed oil, which is hydrating and moisturizing and soothing for your barrio. It has niacinamide, so great for anti-aging and fine lines and uh, brightening. And it also has bakuchiol, which I said. It uses, uh, let's see, a bunch of leaf extracts, uh, sodium hyaluronate, retinol, beta-glucan, which is moisturizing and plumping, uh, sodium hyaluronate to make sure that you oh I said that hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid so it's not gonna uh, feel dry centella so it stays calm fig fruit extract very good antioxidants ceramide NP for good barrier repair uh, tocopherol which is a form of vitamin E collagen so it boosts like the plumpness of your skin and it also has radish ferment filtrate radish in my f uh, skin nice and uh it also has a tripeptide. So very good formula. <laughs> it's the Rupashri, this is the Buy Wish Trend Vitamin A Amazing Bakuchiol Night Cream. Uh, you can find it on Limez, Nika, and Tira. And if you buy it from Limez, you can use my code uh, M O L L Y 10. Molly 10. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Susan asks. Uh, should bu should you buy the vitamin C and alpha arbutin or niacinamide and hyaluronic for hat? Oh, uh, vitamin C is prob and niacinamide is better for uh, hyperpigmentation. I feel like alpha arbutin is too mild. A lot of people like it, but it didn't do much for me. Yeah, Rupashri, I hope that answered your question. Okay, this feels so nice. <sighs> And the thing is, because it's kind of moisturizing, I actually don't need a second cream, but we are going to go back on top with this other one that I picked up in Japan. It's actually, I picked it up in Japan, but it is a Korean cream. <laughs> it's called Abib, and uh, it's their Jericho Rose Cream Nutrition Tube. Rupashi, it is, I, damn, I can't type from where I am. By Wish Trend, B-Y, Wish Trend, Vitamin E, amazing bakuchiol night cream i'm gonna hold it up you can take a screenshot yeah correct by wish trend that's two words by wish trend okay this cream from abib has mushroom extract True rose Jericho of uh, true rose of Jericho extract. Jericho just makes me think of that uh, Hilary Duff movie. Raise your voice. <laughs> um, then it has agave tequilana leaf extract. Nice. Uh, coconut oil, shea butter, lactobacillus ferment, tocopherol, adenosine, jojoba, and glycerin. So amazing for dry skin. The reason I use it as ni at night is because my skin is kind of dehydrated and I need to lock in a lot of layers and it's really calming. I found that my skin feels very healthy after using it and anything with mushroom actually is amazing for your skin. Oh, feels so good. So, I like to use this. I'm gonna gently go over my lips as well. It literally softens your skin like nothing else. Tomorrow, I am going to wake up with really soft skin. Focus that as well, please. It's not like gonna let me focus. I'm, this, I'm really sorry. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know where to bring it for you to focus. Get it, to see it. Is this better? It's slightly, it's still slightly blurry. Oh, the other one? Yeah. One second. This, I don't know where it's available. You might have to find it with like Insta sellers. <laughs> Just my shower curtain casually in your screenshot. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but that's it. So this is what I have for now. I do need to moisturize my body also, uh, for which I 
I actually shopped during the Nykaa sale because this Neutrogena uh, Norwegian formula body moisturizer is almost over. I've used like three bottles of this. It's so good for bo dry body uh, skin. You can see that it's almost over. Yeah, it's super hydrating and it uh, is like really easy to massage into your skin. I love it because it really softens my elbows which tend to get dry and rough. Oh, I have so many bruises from dance. It hurts. Today in the train, a lady like bumped into my bruised shoulder so bad and I wanted to yell. And I'm, it wasn't her fault. It was a crowded train. But damn, that was not good. Yeah. Uh, it just instantly goes in and I, it smells nice as well. So I got this and then I also restocked. Have you tried the Vaseline Deep Moisture variant? It's the yellow one. It's so good. If you have dry uh, skin on your body, then it's literally like a drink for your body. It's so nice. Yeah, it is bad, right? <laughs> it's been, but it's getting better now. It's like slightly tender so I can touch it. But that lady's bag hit it. <laughs> And Pashri, I hope your Monday is going better. But yeah. Uh, so that's it for the re my routine. I hope you enjoyed this very moisturizing, glass skin-esque. Damn, just look at that. Like, it's glowing. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't feel greasy like this. It's just... <sighs> yeah. Um, and I will see you hopefully this Friday. Someone remind me. Siri, remind me. Um, now that my phone is fixed, I can do better. And I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. Till then, I am making an effort to <laughs> film more and my give my editor more stuff so that we can actually have videos on YouTube. But uh, if you have any questions about the product names, you can leave a comment once this live gets saved on the channel. And because I have to go run and do some more prep for tomorrow, uh, because I'm shooting so I will take some time before I can upload the product list on here but uh, till then enjoy your Monday night thank you for watching and I'll see you next time see you on Friday if you're coming on Friday just like comment saying I will be there on Friday <laughs> lovely glow hope I get that too all the best to you yeah I hope you get a nice glow from it too and I hope you enjoy whatever products you liked from this routine I thought I'll change a lot of what I used today for fun <laughs> if you like this you can check out more of the uh, routines I did in my previous lives it's nice <laughs> cool bye have a good night